Well, I've been writing about New Orleans music since before I came down here. I was an editor at Crawdaddy Magazine back in the 1970s, but I didn't get down here until I was working for United Press in the 80s, and I ended up moving here. <laughs> I knew John very well, John Groh, with from his work with uh, George Porter Jr. and also his solo work at Tropical Isle. I've been fortunate to have a lot of steady gigs. I played 12 years on Bourbon Street at the Tropical Isle. In the hounds of hell, in the howl. And you feel like it's all over now. Who's knocking at your door? And the woman at the corner says you never wander. That's just a little weird gig, man. You walk in this tiny little room, and, and there's John with his piano, and he had this giant binder full of songs, and he would just, before nobody was requesting anything, he just flip through it and just start playing songs, you know? Your door. Dale, the owner of Old Point Bar. I don't know how we got to be friends, but he used to just show up at my gigs. 